The Battle of Epahi was a battle of the First World War fought on 18 September 1918, involving the British Fourth Army against German outpost positions in front of the Hindenburg Line. The village of Epahi was captured on 18 September by the 12th Division. Prelude Field Marshal Douglas Haig, commanding the British Expeditionary Force, was not eager to carry out any offensives until the assault on the Hindenburg Line, influenced by mounting British Army losses from previous battles that year. Over 600,000 casualties since March, 180,000 of them in the past six weeks. Rawlinson was kept reined in and advised by Haig to ensure his men were well rested for the eventual attack on the line. When news arrived of the British Third Army's victory at the Battle of Havrincourt, Haig's mind was changed. On the day following the success at Havrincourt, the 13th of September, Haig approved Rawlinson's plan to clear German outpost positions on the high ground before the Hindenburg Line and preparations began. Battle. Very few tanks could be provided for the attack, so artillery would have to be relied upon to prepare the way but in the interests of surprise they would not be able to provide a preliminary bombardment. The 1,488 guns would instead fire concentration shots at zero hour and support the infantry with a creeping barrage and 300 machine guns were also made available. All three corps of the 4th Army were to take part, with 5th Corps of the 3rd Army on their left flank and on their right the French 1st Army. The objective consisted of a fortified zone roughly 3 miles deep and 20 miles long, supported by subsidiary trenches and strong points. The German 2nd Army and 18th Army defended the area. On 18 September at 5.20 am, the attack opened and the troops advanced. The promised French assistance did not arrive, resulting in limited success for 9th Corps on that flank. On the left flank, 3rd Corps also found difficulty when attacking the fortifications erected at the Knoll, Quenemont and Guillemont farms, which were held determinedly by German troops. The village was however captured by the British 12th Eastern Division, 7th Norfolk, 9th Essex and 1st Cambridge. In the centre, General John Monash's two Australian divisions achieved complete and dramatic success. The 1st Australian Division and the 4th Australian Division had a strength of some 6,800 men and in the course of the day captured 4,243 prisoners, 76 guns, 300 machine guns and 30 trench mortars. They took all their objectives and advanced to a distance of about three miles on a four miles front. The Australian casualties were 1,260 officers and men. The battle saw the first mutiny of Australian forces, when 119 men of the 1st Australian Battalion refused to conduct an attack to help the neighbouring British unit. Rather than face charges of desertion in the face of the enemy, they were charged with being AWOL. The attack closed as an Allied victory, with 11,750 prisoners and 100 guns captured. Aftermath Although Epahi was not a massive success, it signalled an unmistakable message that the Germans were weakening and it encouraged the Allies to take further action with haste. Before the Germans could consolidate their positions, the failure of the Third Corps to take their last objective would mean that the American forces involved in the next battle would face a difficult task due to a hurried attack prior to the battle. The Delish Valley Cemetery holds the grave sites of around 158 soldiers from the 12th Division who died during this battle. The nearby cemetery of Epahe Wood Farm Cemetery also holds the graves of men who died in this battle and the previous battles around this area.